Oh, hello. I wasn't expecting you today. If I had known you were coming by, I wouldn't be here in my bathtub, trying to drown my regret. Regret is something I experience more often than I like. It's my mind's gentle reminder that I don't deserve the moment I'm currently living in. Jeff, we're going to be late. Miranda? Have you ever experienced regret before? Jeff, I don't want to be late. Can you finish that later? It sure sounds like you have. The problem with regret is that it can be a very hard feeling to drown out. Jeff, please hurry. Come on, Jeff, please. Please, Jeff, hurry up. Come on. I'm sorry. Can you excuse me? (gasps) Oh, hello, Liz. What's up, Jeff? What are you doing here? Well, I noticed you've been underwater for quite some time. Yes, that's correct. You know what? How about I take over your show for a bit? Yes, if you wouldn't mind. Of course, Jeff. That's what I'm here for. Don't be too long. I will do my best. Thank you, Liz. You bet, Jeff. Now, where was Jeff? He was talking about regret and drowning his regret. Oh, yeah. I'm so glad you surprised me today here in my bathtub. It's the perfect time for me to teach you all a little bit about regret. Hey, Hey, Liz. Oh, hello, everyone. I wasn't expecting any of you to come sit in my bathtub with me today. Oh, yes. We We know. We know. I heard you splashing about, and it concerned me. Me too. I thought you might have been drowning. I firmly believe that I could have saved you if that had been the case. Oh, that's so nice of you all to think of me. To be honest, Andrew Fleischer, I wasn't drowning my body. I was attempting to drown my regret. You have regret? That's right, Jacob. Oh, no. It's okay, Jacob. We all feel regret. We do? Yes, we do. I see. Actually, sorry, I think it's confirmed that I have no idea what regret is. You don't know? I don't know how he can't know. I feel regret so much of the time that I can't remember what not feeling regret is like. Here, Jacob. Float on your back and I'll try to help you understand regret. I'm great at floating. Okay, Jacob. Breathe. Long breaths. Now tell me, Jacob, do you ever feel like you don't belong here? All the time. Yes. And why do you think that is? I guess because sometimes I say things and do things I wish I hadn't done or said. And that makes me feel bad in a way that doesn't feel good. Oh. You may stop floating now. You see? That's what I like to call regret. That's called regret? Well, in that case, I regret all the time. I'm not at all surprised, Jacob. Would you like to join me in trying to drown your regret? Of course. Okay, here goes. (gasps) Miranda? Miranda, are you here? My regret feels like it is getting assaulted. That's exactly the effect we were going for. Do you think we can keep drowning ourselves? I don't see why not. (gasps) Miranda? It's Jeff. Can you hear my voice? I do.
Please, don't go. Hello? Hello? Oh, hello. Oh, look. It's Chuck, the whale rider. Good evening, Jeff. What are you doing here? This is my domain, don't you know? It's your domain? I can't recall, but have you met my whale, Torvald? Torvald and I would love to take you as deep as you would like to go today. I don't know how deep this goes. Oh my, well, this is certainly a conundrum. Would you like me to familiarize you with the depths? Yes, thank you. Hop on. Coffee? I don't think... Tea? No, but thank you. Well, how about some goldfish crackers? Don't answer that, it's my little joke. Also, I don't actually have those in stock right now. Yes, 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 I'm getting to it. Please excuse me, Jeff, but do you speak whale? I... I think I do. Oh, that's wonderful. Torvald would like to ask you a few questions, and that should give us some idea of how deep to take you. Shall we proceed, Torvald? Yes, I am lost. Well, I was looking for someone, and I'm not sure where they are. You know where they are. They're at the bottom. May I ask how deep this goes? Oh my, that sounds very deep. And you don't mind taking me there? You'd like me to grab your spout? Okay then. Wonderful. (laughs) Now, before we begin our trek, let me make this as clear as it can be. Folks, just don't go to the bottom. It's dark. And the effects it has on the rest of the world are immeasurable, I'm telling you. It can cause a ripple of devastation throughout everywhere you have ever been and anyone you have ever known. Oh my. You get the point. Now, if I could just get you to sign some paperwork basically saying that we had this conversation and you understood the risks and that Torvald and I are not to blame, blah, blah, blah. You know the rigmarole. I guess that would be all right. Wonderful, wonderful. So here's a pen. Sign here. Right here, and here, and here, initial here, one initial here, here, okay, and here, here, and here. Perfect. Oh, and here. Amazing. We can now be off to the bottom after you sign right here. Finished. Oh. Oh, well, Torval would like to give you a tour of the depths on the way to the bottom. Would that be okay? I would love a tour. Wonderful. Torvald? When you've got good friends, they never let you down. Gonna be together till you stop. That's funny. Usually his tours go on for so much longer. Must be nearing the bottom sooner than expected. Well, might I say it's been a pleasure serving you today, but the rest of the journey is for you alone. Yes, yes, Torvald, this is why you shouldn't get too attached to folks. Everything is temporary, you know that. So I just let go? Yep, let go of Torvald's spout and off you go. There will be a bit of sinking that might feel slightly alarming to you. Okay. Would you mind telling me how I will know when I've reached the bottom? (laughs) You'll know. That I'm quite confident about. I want to thank you today for teaching me about the bottom. I really feel... Yes, yes, yes. Enough of that, please. Just let go. The bottom, the bottom. Stay away from the bottom. For time is short and life is long. The bottom the bottom where regret has gone. I have to say my honest feelings about drowning, I do feel a little better. I'm noticing you seem physically lighter. I'd like to make the suggestion that we celebrate Jacob feeling better by teleporting into the living room and enjoying some frozen strawberries. That's a great idea. 
I agree. My skin has gotten a little raisiny, so this would be good for me for multiple reasons. I love frozen strawberries. Okay, everyone, stand up. I'm going to pull the drain. Hello? Hello, Jeff. Oh, hello. It's so nice to see it's you. It's okay. You're here. You don't have to talk like that. Well, now that you're here, would you like to dance? I'm not sure I remember how to move my body. Just move your body in a way that feels good. Okay. <laughs> That's great! You got it! Would you like to come closer to me? I would, yes. Put your arms around me. I'm trying. I, I can't feel you. That's okay. You can see me, though, yes? Yes. Good. You have nice moves for someone in a coma. Well, I don't have much to compare it to, but thank you. You're welcome. I left you, didn't I? Yes, you left me. Why? You don't remember? No. Well, it's not important now, is it? Yes, it is. I don't know why I left you. I can't tell you why. But I did. Yes, yes you did. But we're here, together now. But we aren't. I know this. I can feel that we aren't. It feels better if you keep dancing. I'm trying. My body isn't moving. <laughs> yes, it is. Look, you're dancing. Hey, Jeff. Great party. I'm loving this party. Who are they? It's you, silly. But I'm, I'm trying to tell you that I miss you. This is one of the best parties I've ever been to. Miranda, you have to hear me. Oh, I hear you. And I hear this song, too. It's my favorite to dance to. Alice Tool. I'm I'm sorry. We're sorry. We're so sorry. We're sorry about how jamming this party is. Miranda. Jeff. Miranda. Jeff. Miranda, can you hear me? Jeffrey, can you hear me? Oh no. Jeff, what's up? You were gone a while. Oh, hello, Liz. Are you here to take your show back? We were just building some houses with Eloise Mumford. Yes. Uh, yes, I am. Thank you. My pleasure. Say goodbye to Eloise for me. Wow, we did it. We built a home for someone in need. It looks amazing. I know, right? Thank you, Eloise Mumford, for teaching us how to do it. By providing us with these building skills, we can now help others on our own. That's right, Andrew Fleischer. Hey, Eloise Mumford, I think I want to be a professional hammerer. Does such a thing exist? I can answer that. There is indeed a profession called hammerer. <laughs> Not exactly, Andrew Fleischer, but don't worry, Sky. There are plenty of jobs you can do that require hammering. This is great news. Holy cow! I'm totally wet! Me too. My mailbag is filled with water. I'm floating in my wheelchair seat. That's how much water just fell on us. <laughs> oh my. I didn't expect to get sopping wet. Do you all have a hair dryer? Oh, hello everyone. I wasn't expecting all of you today. What do you mean, Jeff? We've been here for the entire lesson. Yes, you were standing right here this entire time. I was? Yes. We took a bath together and Jacob drowned his regret. I did. And we built a house together for a family in need with Fifty Shades of Grey star Eloise Mumford. We did? Yep. You actually did most of the work, Jeff. She is right. You did a lion's share of the work required. I did a lot of the work, too. Yeah, okay, Jacob. Sure, sure. I see. Well, then... 
I want to thank you, Eloise Mumford, for taking time away from your busy acting schedule and your hit shows like Chicago Fire to come here and teach us that by building houses for those in need, together we can help stabilize families and communities across the globe. And I want to thank you, Jeff, for opening up your show to tell folks about the great cause that is Habitat for Humanity, a global nonprofit housing organization whose vision is of a world where everyone has a decent place to live. It was really my pleasure. Well, I have to be off now. There are many more houses to get built for those in need, and I want to be there for as many of them as I can be. Goodbye, Goodbye Eloise Mumford. Goodbye, everybody. Someday, I want to be a hammerer. Er, I want to be a painter. I would like to be the lead contractor. I'm most excited by the thought of becoming an architect. Don't you guys think I would be a good architect? How about you, Jeff? What would you like to be someday? Jeff? You know, it's really hard to answer that question, Andrew Fleischer. I'm doing my best to be quite content here. You mean you'll stay here forever? Well, I... I, uh... You know, speaking of omnipresence, I'd love to teach you a little bit about stage three of a caterpillar's growth. The chrysalis stage... <laughs> The Jeff's Place podcast was created by Jeff Galfer, Sky Soleil, and Andrew Fleischer and is presented by Angry King Productions. The show is produced by Jeff Galfer, Sky Soleil, Andrew Fleischer, and Evan Shapiro. Written by Jeff Galfer and stars Jeff Galfer as Jeff, Sky Soleil as Sky, Andrew Fleischer as Andrew Fleischer, and Jacob Givens as Jacob. With music by Pete Larney, the saxophonist. Our guest stars for today's episode were George Hugh Nguyen as Nurse Hugh Liz Jenkins is Liz. Chuck Sloan is Chuck the Whale Rider. Miranda LeRae is Miranda. And Eloise Mumford is Eloise Mumford. Be sure to follow Eloise at Eloise.Mumford on Instagram as she does wonderful things to help our planet. Need your taxes done? Go visit Chuck Sloan and Associates and tell him Jeff from Jeff's Place sent you. For more information on Jeff's Place or our production company, please visit Jeff's Place Show.com or AngryKingProductions.com. 